Thank you very much. I am Alberto Forchelli from uh, Mandarin Capital Partners, but uh, I'm really here um, because I have the honor to interview Dr. Vincent Chan, who is the founder and managing partner of Spring Capital. Uh, Vincent uh, is not only a dear friend, but is one of the um, founder of the private equity industry in China. And uh, I think uh, there are many things we can learn from him. And uh, there are uncertainties, there are question marks for the future. And we would love that we would love Vincent to address. But the first question I have for Vincent is, let us know what you do and what Spring Capital is all about. We, we are 100% um, focused early growth, low mid market fund for China and Hong Kong only. So normally we do the SME first institutional run investment. So deal size from 5 to 30 million US. I think under the US you know, classification we are at the lower end. It's a very interesting space. Um, uh, Compared with yours, it's, we are smaller. Uh, this, like looking back at your long experience, what are the things that uh, you're very proud of? And what are the mistakes you wish you had never made? I, I think first, in terms of lesson learned, um, I think for any organizations, I think we need to high or bring in people they they appreciate this platform or partnership I think you face the same challenges I think you have a back, you know, bigger platform but still you are, you have you know, other competitors I think for me I'll decide to go for this lower low, lower mid market so we made up our decision to build a, a smaller team smaller fund um, and how to really able to keep the right people and the good people and I think that is always uh, the challenge um, but I think something I feel proud of is um, over the last five years since I became independent um, we do build a culture a culture which uh, we, are, we are proud of a culture which is this I think we respect one another we, we argue we quarrel sometimes, um, not openly, but I think that's how about I deal ideas. You now whether that is the right right deal, whether we you know, we think it too negatively, when then we overpay. But I think that's how we can go to the next stage of a team building. Um, Vincent, the, um, we understand the private equity industry is at the crossroad now in China. Um, the, mar the Shanghai market is low. Um, the IPO are uh, at a standstill. Um, we understand CSRC has been slowing down the IPO process to clean it up and so on. What is going to happen? I mean, will the IPO pick up again and when? Uh, will uh, the work that CSRC is doing is going to be sufficient? or you think there is a basic lack of confidence in the market? I mean, what should we look forward to starting next fall? I, I'm a very simple, I'm a simple believer. I'm always stay positive about the market. I think if you believe the stock markets is you know, essential for any emerging markets, including in Europe, in, in, in China, I think they will come back. I think that particular under the, 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 the um, the current government, which is still dominant by the SOE. I think they need to raise capital. I think when the public market sentiment is coming back, you know, the government will, will, will release that the current restrictions in terms of IPO. It, it's not the first time. I think they, they come back. They come back. I think many companies before the IPO market, they may not be able to be a going concern. Um, they may not be able to survive. I think, I think that is really a fundamental belief about the banking system, the capital market, particularly in China. Many of the companies do not generate cash flow. That is also mindful for a private equity investor. If a company does not generate free cash flow, so they need to be financed either by bank, by private equity investor, and also by the capital markets. Mm -hmm. So I'm a believer about this, uh, the, the rule of game. 
Um, I think no, I think the more relevant for my I think for my last five years I served on the, on the listing on the sort of change listing committee. The lesson learned is also I think as a private equity investor in China, whether it's onshore, offshore is irrelevant. But the key thing is each stock market has their own strengths and weaknesses. Like same for the GP. I think Hong Kong, uh, not because I was born in Hong Kong, but I'm also a believer about Hong Kong and China. Hong Kong, I think, if we call in it, in the deep of the the crisis, there were a few IPO, and many of the IPO were launched at below our entry cost, you know, some of our peer groups' entry cost. But and before that IPO, I think some of these companies will not be exist in existence because because they did not generate cash flow. So sure. they need that money to able for them to move forward to 08, 09, 2010, and, and, and now some of them become a giant. I think that is really the, 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 the basic elements about stock exchange. I think they need to support you in the good times and the bad times, like private equity. But in China, I think it's still policy driven, which I think one day they can do that. I believe you know, the, the market will be more market driven going forward. But still, take times. I, I, I maybe have more tolerance to, um, to, to, the, to the China market. I think the market will come back. Okay. Um, do you have any critical uh, timeline in mind? For example, most people say in September there will be the plenary session of the CPC Central Committee is going to issue the new economic policy. Do you see that as a crucial um, time or you see any other like crucial moments we should look at to perceive whether there is a change or not? Maybe my mind is focusing on so much on, on deals and the smaller deals, the SME. Uh, I have a, I'm a simple believer. Whenever you see a, a V ratings or a view of confidence to the public market in China, I think those are the time. I think the regulators will be more, more generous in releasing the restrictions. Because it's, it's for me to compare, maybe I'm, I'm compare with the wrong model. Take out politics, Taiwan and China. When I first joined the industry in 91, I went to Taiwan. That was a closed economy. So the stock market was trading at like 60 times PE multiple, like in China in the old days. But now at 16, 20 times, it's more reasonable. You know, it's become an open market. China, I think, is getting people to be a more open market, but still in the pauses. In a closed economy, there's only a few elements the government can control. So for them, you know, they can control the money supply, they can control the number of IPOs so that they believe that can support the market. But we all know, we all went through that, you know, gone through that many times. That is not totally correct, but that is how some people still have that belief. So I think that is one of the major elements. When people start to be, you know, have more confidence about the accounting standard, the quality of the earnings, the quality of the companies being listed, I think that will be the day I think that the market will come back. Thank you, Vincent. Thank you. Thank you.